So, Gary, that sort of leads into another question, which is the value to badge recipients. Um, you've already sort of considered the in terms of cultural capital, giving them access or or um, knowledge or contact, you know, context to be able to to develop their 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 personal resources. What else do you think is the value to badge recipients? I'm putting you on the spot a bit here. <laughs> I mean, I think I think it's really important to come back to the recipients and. You know, it's really easy for us from a strategic point of view to talk about why schools should take them up and all of those about the systems and Gatsby and Ofsted. But fundamentally, they're about those young people. And I think it's about that preparation for the future world, the world of work, the world of future study, the, the world of potentially multiple careers, um, something I heard today. You know, most people stay in a job for about four years before they move into another one. So it's not, we're not in the world of one career uh, and one future. We're in the world of multiple futures. And I think what badges do is really empower young people to have the language and the tools to articulate that journey. And I think if schools are about preparation for life in its widest sense, then introduction to badges and how they work and how they can be useful is a really powerful way to support young people going forwards so that they have great exam results if they've got them they have their gcse and a level certificates but they also have the way to express and explain the other things that they do really really well yeah i, I mean i think another point in there is about transferable skills because i think often we I, and I think we're all guilty of it. We can end up looking for the job we're already in because we don't think about those skills operating in a different sphere and a different sector or, or culture. So I think that's really important to, to start to get young people to think about the transferability of skills. Um, and I've, I've read reports on this and people like the CBI say, you know, this notion of work readiness is often built around attitude rather than skill in terms of the technical skill. So those values that we've talked about, and uh, determination, communication, resilience, so those growth mindset, actually, all those aspects of growth mindset, ability to make mistakes and, under, and learn from those mistakes are really, really important in the workplace because often you're faced with challenging situations that you haven't encountered before and you need to have that personal resilience, that self-management all of those attributes are really really important and also employers will recognize those if a young person is able to talk about having acquired those skills they are able to recognize that because those are the sort of character skills that are often um, cited as not being um, present in young people so i think there's lots of ways of capturing them and writing them in a way that means something to the student but also means something to the potential employer